Hello everyone, this is Simply Syrup coming to you with part 2 of our extraction building tutorial in our Medieval Dynasty series. I am so excited to be bringing you another video today and I believe I have some good information to improve your dynasty and maximize your playthrough potential. As always, please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video so we can grow the channel together. If you haven't had the chance to check out part 1 of our extraction building tutorial, then I would advise you to give that video a quick look to learn more about the woodcutter's lodge, the well, and the excavation shed. Today, we are going to be going over the herbalist hut along with the mine, then moving into some possible errors you may encounter, and then finishing up with some general tips to ensure your workers are being the best they can be. Thank you so much for giving my channel a try, and remember timestamps will be available in the video description along with a link to my Twitch channel. But before I take up any more of your time, let's get into the video. The Herbalist Hut is the apothecary of the village and specializes in gathering herbs and crafting useful potions. Of all the extraction buildings, the Herbalist Hut has the most inputs and outputs by far, and is also the hardest to manage. You can expect to use buckets of water, wooden or clay vials, and all sorts of different herbs and flowers to produce the different potions and other goods from the Herbalist Hut. The Herbalist Hut will have moderate importance to your entire playthrough. This building can house one worker in its first form and two workers in its second level using the survival skill tree. Managing the herbalist hut is no easy task and you will have to take time every season to readjust this building's productions. This is due to the fact that workers are gathering seasonal goods. I've made a quick and easy chart to help you understand what each season can generate for the herbalist hut. There is a little bit of overlap, but for the most part, the general guideline is springtime is for flowers, summertime is for herbs, autumn is for mushrooms, and winter is for crafting potions, because there is nothing for your workers to collect in the winter season. The most important thing to remember when managing the herbalist hut is to not let it sit idle. You will have to check in every single season to manage this building properly. All of the herbalist hut's derivatives are not created equal though, and it is much more important and useful to gather certain resources. At some level, what you need to be gathering will be specific to your own dynasty. But I believe there are four necessary forageables that need to be collected every year. The first two forageables go together and will be used to create the ever important health potions. These of course being the broadleaf plantain and the dandelion. Both of these ingredients can be found in the spring and summer and the broadleafs can also be collected in autumn. You're going to want a healthy supply of both these ingredients to create as many health potions as possible. Moving on, the next regent you will want to be on the lookout for every year is chicory. This herb comes up in the spring, summer, and autumn and can be used with the dandelion to create the potion of stamina. The potion of stamina is super useful when it comes to clearing out forest or farming. So be sure to collect as much chicory as you can every year and keep those cabinets full. The last ingredient I want to encourage you to harvest is thistle. This flower only comes up in the summertime and goes into the potion of weight. Bag space is always an issue and you should expect to be using potions of weight frequently. I personally always carry 4 or 5 potions of weight with me everywhere I go. And since this flower is only harvestable in one season, you should really try to collect as much as possible when the summertime comes. So to summarize, remember to check the herbalist hut every season and be on the lookouts for the ingredients I just listed and make sure your cabinets are full. 
By doing this, you can ensure that you are properly managing the herbalist hut. The mine is the final unlock in the building knowledge tree. And this building will use pickaxes to produce copper ore, iron ore, tin ore, salt, and stone. The mine will have maximum usefulness once unlocked and can employ a total of six workers using the extraction skill tree. The first thing you need to know about the mine is how to place it down. The mine is the only building in Medieval Dynasty that is restricted to more than just needing flat land. You actually have to place the building down on a pre-existing mine shaft in order to build the mine. There are currently five caves in Medieval Dynasty, and there is no need to worry if you happen to build your village far away from an existing cave. Your villagers don't need to make it to the actual building in order for it to produce. Just be careful when visiting the mine because it's normally inhabited by a bear or two. Management of the mine is pretty simple. The only thing you will need to worry about is how much of each resource to produce. Unlocking the mine will give you access to the very valuable iron ore. However, collection of this iron ore is slow and it is unlikely you will be able to keep up demand for your whole village to start using iron tools as soon as the mine is placed down. Like most things, this will be dynasty specific, but you should be prepared to be extracting all of the different ores to keep tools flowing to your village. The only thing I would recommend when managing the mine is to not waste your workday extracting salt. Salt isn't a useless commodity to have, but by the time you unlock the mines, you should have a steady supply of food coming into your village and storing food shouldn't be high on your priority list. To summarize, you have to find a pre-existing mine shaft in order to place down your mine. Management of the mine is incredibly simple and will be dynasty specific as to what you should be producing. Just don't waste too much time gathering salt. Next, on the agenda for today's video, I wanted to briefly discuss the possible errors you can encounter when managing your extraction buildings. There is always something breaking down when your village gets a little size, and this portion of the video is going to show you how to address these problems and get you back up and running fast. There are only three possible production halting errors that you can encounter if you have a worker stationed with a current assignment. All of these errors will be shown in the building management screen and will be highlighted by a red exclamation mark. The first and most common error is a red hammer. This means that your villagers do not have the appropriate tools to complete their work. Remember to batch the creation of tools together when needed. Don't just create one axe for your woodcutters. Go ahead and make 10 to get you through the entire year. The next error message is also very common and looks like three logs under two small circles. This error message means that you do not have the required resources for your villagers to complete their work. Simply click over the goods production screen we talked about in the last video and see what is missing. Get the requirement filled and you should be back up and running in no time. And the last error message looks like a red splatter of paint and is the easiest to resolve. This error simply means the building is damaged and requires a little maintenance. So get your hammer and grab a few materials and get to fixing to solve this error message. Well, it looks like that's all the time we have for today's video, but I really hope I was able to give you some good information to help manage your extraction buildings. I wanted to take a moment to give a big thank you to whoever has made it this far in the video. Your support is very much appreciated. I also wanted to remind you to give a like to the video and a follow to the channel so you can join me on my medieval dynasty journey and we can help grow the channel together. 
So thanks again. More content will be coming very soon. I hope you all have a terrific day. This is Simply Syrup signing off.